Hey, how's it going guys and welcome back to another video and thanks very much for your patience as I know it's been about a week or so since my last one but I'm back today and I'm here to let you know a little bit about a game that is currently in development, a game that has caught my eye over the last few weeks and it may whet your appetite too, you possibly could know about it already but if not, well let me tell you about it. So it's called Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator and it was greenlit on Steam last month in December and I've got to say I'm very pleased it was because this game looks fantastic, I can't wait for it to come out. The best way to describe this is to look at it as a mix between totally accurate battle simulator in how you set up your battles and scenarios and then the grand scale of Total War. This potentially sounds like a great match and it looks to offer a huge amount of combinations with different units and battles that you'll be able to choose from when the game comes out. Now in terms of its release date, it was originally penciled down for some time this month in January but according to their Steam page, which by the way I'll link in the description, it now seems that they have pushed it back to some time in early spring apparently and to be honest I support that you know get it right from the start improve the game while you can uh, add more features if possible and so give them more time to polish and ensure any bugs or glaring issues are ironed out before its launch and for me definitely take as much time as needed and I'm sure you agree with that one but already it is coming along very well indeed and as you can see from the footage you're watching the scale and possibilities of battles are just staggering I mean we know how fun totally accurate battle simulator can be and you can mix that with the grand and epic scale of Total War as I said and in fact probably bigger than Total War I think I've heard 25 to 30,000 troops in one battle being a possibility and that well sounds like an absolute dream for me and recently the developers tried to think a thousand or say 100,000 man battle to really stress test the engine and yeah, that was an awesome sight as you can see here in front of you a great achievement one of the first games ever to do it and one of the first times it's ever been showcased I think on YouTube and obviously though you can imagine its performance was not great but possibly as time goes on and more testing is done this could get better however the possibilities are there but I can imagine you know a pretty powerful PC being required for the high-end battles but as I say it is a possibility in some way or another uh, and system PC specs have not been confirmed yet so that is still a mystery as to what they will be and what you know PC will be required to run the game and um, we will get to play as Roman centurions, medieval knights, trolls, chickens, zombies, World War II soldiers, Spartans and Persians which are of course right up my street and many many more than that so you'll be able to create some great stories and you know I'll be able to create some great videos for you guys to enjoy on YouTube, I'm sure, as well. And I've read that the developers have been working hard for months to create the most powerful crowd rendering system ever conceived in a Unity engine. And there really aren't many engines that you can just chuck 10,000 characters in and expect good performance. And this is because the detail of each character has little effect on performance, apparently. While each individual acts independently, but is working towards a greater good for his team, if you know what I mean. But the main focus is there for each soldier to act singly as opposed to a group of men as it would be in a total war game. And also I think you'd agree the entire game itself looks pretty damn good as well. I mean the maps look fantastic. There's a solid amount of variety in them as well. You know, the levels of terrain that they offer uh, are different and help in conceiving a very high level of ambience and atmosphere to the battles themselves. Now in terms of animations of the units that's something I feel could do with some more work and possibly that's why along with performance optimization the release date has been pushed back a few months to give them more time in this area because it does kind of look clunky at the moment if I'm honest with you but then again from a memory usage perspective how far can that be pushed because especially with all the unit rendering that is going on how much memory can be allocated to animations it's a tricky one but I did see recently though in a video that units will be able to hold formation and be very disciplined in their approach 
to the battles. For example, Roman soldiers or Spartans using a shield wall, and those shields will give them a lot more HP points, but at the same time, it will make them more vulnerable to rear and side attacks, so enemies can get easier kills from attacking this way. And I like how that has been implemented into the game, gives the game a bit more of a tactical approach to it. Now another neat feature is that as the battles wear on, bodies begin piling on top of each other. So literally, you can end up with a hill of dead bodies at your feet, kind of like the Battle of the Bastards scenario if you've seen Game of Thrones. And speaking of the Battle of the Bastards, it appears you will be able to recreate those style of clashes in the game. For example, the Rohirrim charge at the Battle of Pelennor Fields in Lord of the Rings. That's something that's being done already as well. So that would be absolutely epic to be able to try and recapture that in all its glory in the game. But anyway, I think I've rambled on for too long about how it is and what the game's about. I think the proof is here in front of you and of course in the description of the game itself. But it's looking very good indeed. Awesome potential. And I'll definitely be playing it on the channel when it comes out for sure and as I said earlier I think this is a sort of game to, you know, that you guys will certainly enjoy watching and playing as well and let me know your thoughts down below in the comments let me know who you'd like to play as and who you'd like me to play as on the game but if you remember as well all links can be found in the description so check them out find out a little bit more about what this game is all about and that is it guys so as always thank you so much for watching and until next time Farewell.